I'm Dr. Samantha Keegan, a consultant dermatologist at St. George's Hospital, leading the teledermatology service within Southwest London. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for taking a really good quality photograph. It's really important for us to be able to assess a skin condition accurately. Try to use a background that's plain and neutral with no distractions. Remove jewellery, makeup and clothing if needed. To minimise shadows, small body parts such as hands and feet should be placed flat against a background or on a flat surface. For larger areas, you can stand in front of a neutral wall or door. Make sure there's sufficient light, natural lighting is best, and if not, consider using your camera flash. If you're using your flash, hold the camera a little bit further away. If the camera is too close, the lighting will not be even and result in a hotspot area of light which can obstruct the image. When we're viewing the photo, we can zoom in to see it closer. As dermatologists, we're interested in colours, surface details like crust, and patterns of blood vessels. Whether you're taking a photo of your own skin or someone else's, always take an establishing image followed by a close-up. If I wanted to take a photo of a rash on my hand, I would take a photo from a distance first like this, then more closely like this. If there are multiple areas to photograph, it's difficult to distinguish exact sites if only close-up images are taken. This will avoid confusion and make sure the correct areas are being assessed. The close image should always be directly from above, parallel to the area. If the skin condition is raised, you can take a side-on or oblique image to demonstrate the size, height and shape of the area. Photographing a rash or widespread condition can be difficult. Try and show the distribution pattern with establishing shots from a distance first. You may want to ask for help from someone you know to take these photographs. Then demonstrate surface details by taking a series of photographs at different zoom settings. Try and take close-up pictures of the most affected areas rather than every affected area. It's essential that photographs are in focus. Most smartphone cameras have a built-in focus feature, so tap and hold on the area of the screen you want to focus on and wait a second for the camera to focus before you take the photo. If you're holding your camera too close, this will result in a blurred image Use the zoom function and hold the camera a bit further back before taking the photo. Always double check and review photos before sending them in to make sure they accurately represent your skin condition. If you find them blurry to look at, it's likely that we will too. If you have a skin condition in the genital area that needs assessing, this will not be appropriate for a teledermatology review and we advise that you first contact your GP regarding this. If you live alone or the area that needs photographing is in an inaccessible place, then you may want to ask someone you know to take the photo for you or contact your GP directly. I hope you found this video helpful. As dermatologists in Southwest London, we're looking forward to working together with you to establish a safe and effective digital platform for diagnosing and treating skin conditions.